Well, it teaches discipline and patience. It redirects anger, builds confidence, and it's fun. It also happens at a gun range. Denver 7 contributor Hannah Atkinson helps me explain. Keith Gleason is ex-Army and suffers from PTSD. How were you injured? How? Yeah, how were you injured? Um, that's hard to answer. Gleason's had a tough time of it. With PTSD, it, it sets me back a lot of times. It makes me have anxiety attacks, makes me want to stay indoors, keeps me from wanting to do anything. Gleason was invited to take part in a new competitive air gun program run by the National Sports Center for the Disabled. Shooting. Nice shot. As therapy. It was right there. It's relaxing to me. It makes me sit back and look at the target and just relax and say, okay, I can do this. There are 15 to 20 participants each month directed here by the local VA. This particular program is really good for people who want to learn how to focus their minds. Uh -huh. So shooting uh, is something that is very calm. We teach the same breath techniques here as they do in yoga. So people are very relaxed, they get into a zen state, and then they fire their weapon. I put that anger right on that bullet and let it go down range. These special air guns can be adapted to accommodate just about any disability. So if you don't have use of your arms or use of uh, any other parts of your body, we actually have a sip and puff system where you can shoot with just by blowing through a straw. All right, let's uh, go ahead. The program is run out of the Denver Police Department's indoor shooting range and DPD officers are the instructors. They were trained how to teach those with disabilities by the U.S. Paralympic shooting team in Colorado Springs. And one night, every other week, after their 10-hour shifts, they come here and volunteer their time. Nice. That was right here. Almost everybody here looks forward to these nights when we get to have these people come in. I think that builds their confidence. I think it, it, their skills are building, their confidence. And I see them coaching each other now and taking care of each other. The shooting program was developed for wounded military veterans, offered to them free of charge thanks to a series of grants. But as of this month, it's being expanded to anyone with a disability. I like this. Denver 7 contributor Hannah Atkinson even gave it a shot. Good. Oh, thanks. No, it hasn't been great for the paper squirrels. The program in its first few months is already considered a tremendous success. Just ask Keith Gleason. And when I get done, I'm just so stoked that I did better. I'm doing better each and every time that I fire with this. It makes me want to come out, get out, and do things again. Good for you. Now, if you are interested in participating, details can be found on the DenverChannel.com and the Denver 7 app.